So it's time to start another tutorial guys and today we will talk about searching engines. Let's say you build a website and you have blog posts or any other data you have on your website. Of course you also want to have a, a searching engine and users can use that to find the content they're looking for. In this video tutorial we will create a search spider. We will create a searching engine which will have four levels. I call it a search spider because all those four levels, I call them the spider's legs. So I will create a database and in my database I will have a post table. As you see on my screen right now, I have a post table and this post table will have three columns. The first one is ID, title and short description. Now below this table you can see five dark blocks. These blocks are the functions we will have in our object. So we will have there a PHP file. In that PHP file we will have a class which is search and then that class will have all these five functions. We will have two other functions I think. There is going to be a function which will filter the sentence, the sentence which comes from the user of course and then another function will have the stop words. I will explain, I will talk about those functions when we will build the actual search spider. Now, as you see below this table, I told you, these blocks are functions. And the biggest block, this is the search spider function, this is the main function. So, whenever somebody is typing a sentence, that sentence comes to the search spider function. And then this search spider function takes the sentence and interacts with the first leg, which is the first level of searching. And this is full sentence title. Now, this leg, this function, takes the sentence and it goes in the database and it is looking there for posts which have that full sentence in the title. And all those posts it found in the database, it takes just, it takes just the posts IDs. So it's going to return a list of IDs to the full sentence title. Now we will have an array with all those IDs from the post table and and that array is going array is going to be returned to the search spider function now this search spider function will have now an array which will have the results from the first level of searching from the first spider's leg the second time this search spider takes the same sentence and it calls the breakup sentence title. This is the second leg it has. Now this breakup sentence title function will take word by word from that sentence. It doesn't take the whole sentence as it did the first leg. The first, it takes word by word. So if somebody is typing their build PHP form, it takes the first word, build, and it goes to the database. And this is going to look for posts which have that word, which is build word in the title. And all the posts which it found there, it's gonna return just the IDs and returns back. So it does for each word from that sentence the same thing. The second one, let's say it's PHP. So it takes the PHP word, it goes in the post table and it's, it's searching there for posts which have the PHP in the title. And then it returns just the IDs of those posts. And after that, it will have an array with the results. And that array is going to be returned to the search spider function. Now, this search spider function now will have two arrays. The first one, I mean the results. This is going to be the full sentence title. And then the second array is going to be the result from the breakup sentence title. The third one is full sentence description. So it takes, again, the same sentence. It sends it to the... Um, full sentence description. This full sentence description takes the full sentence and it goes in the database and this is looking in the database for posts which have that full sentence in a short description. And all those posts which have that sentence in the description will be returned back to the full sentence description. Now, it returns of course just the IDs. It doesn't return anything else from here. And then it will have also another array with the results and that array is going to be returned back to the search spider function. 
So it has now three arrays with th three results from three legs. Now this, the last one is going to be the breakup sentence description. So this breakup sentence description does the same thing breakup sentence title did, but it takes and it takes word by word, but it, it looks now, it goes to the database and it's going to look for posts which have that words in the short description, not in the title, right? And all those posts which have that th those words, they will be returned back to the breakup sentence description. So we will have just the IDs, just IDs. And then it will have another array and that array is going to be returned back to the search spider function. Now this search spider will have four arrays as results from four, all those four legs it had. And below that four arrays, it will create the final array and will, it will assign the values from all those four arrays to that main one, to the, lot, to the final array, which will contain, which will have the, I mean, the, the results from all those four legs. And also it will remove the double ID. So let's say this full sentence title found the post ID, which is 20. And then this breakup sentence found the same post. Now we, we don't want to have double, so we will remove the double IDs and we will keep just the unique ones. And after that, we will just use that array. So we will have, of course, pagination. We will have a number of items per page when we, when we show those posts. So if we have a full array, and we want, like it has a hundred IDs and we want to show just 10, then we'll take just the first 10 IDs and we will uh, select from the database the posts which have those IDs and we will show them on the user's page. That's, that's the basic functionality of this search spider. And in the next video, we will start building this spider. We will create a database and then we will create each of these functions which are the spider's legs. Alright, see you guys in the next video.